So I find myself in a similar situation that I can't help but remember a time many, many years ago right here on this channel where my boy Housetop texts me and goes, hey, you shouldn't go on any social media, but you need to watch this trailer. And the trailer I'm actually referring to is something that has nothing to do with this one. But like I said, I find myself in a similar situation because this Deadpool and Wolverine trailer on Ryan Reynolds' YouTube account, it says here has over 3.4 million views and that it was uploaded three hours ago. As always, I listened. I haven't been on Twitter. I haven't been on Instagram. I haven't even been on Facebook. I'm just here now to react to the official trailer of Deadpool and Wolverine, aka Deadpool 3. And off of all of this X-Men excitement, I anticipate this will be the best movie of 2024. Will we see any more teases and straight up confirmation of other things that we've been alluding to and anticipating? Let's get into it. You're not welcome here. You're not welcome anywhere. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. Oh my God. Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Look, lady. I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm sort of on the tick tick, so upsy daisy. Here we go. Oh, whiskey dick of the claws. <laughs> Wolverine's over 40. You don't want this. Unless you want to take a deep breath through your fucking forehead, I suggest you what? consider. Oh my god. Bro, in the suit. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Not my fucking problem. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? Come again. Whoa. This Whoa. Let down his entire world. Oh, it's a different one. Oh. Want to talk about what's haunting you or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go <laughs> fuck yourself. <laughs> third act flashback. <laughs> Yo, he looks so good. But you do. Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. You were an X-Man. You were the X-Man. Right. That's facts. I am soaking wet right now. There we go. You there. Boys are so silly. Bro, is that Cassandra Nova? Wait, that's an Ant Man, John. Big slow motion action sequence. Who knows if you live or die? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. A portal! A portal! Oh my god! Wanna do some cocaine? Hey, cocaine is the one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching powder? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupted? Even <laughs> you want to build a snowman? This is crazy. July 26th. How the first of all, I don't understand how they can say that this film is not ready yet. Everybody knows with how many fucking F bombs that they just dropped. There's no way this is not like anything but R rated. It's a hundred percent rated R. <laughs> Oh my God, this is uh, this was a really cool trailer. It's very unrevealing, even though we know, or it's at least implied that this Wolverine is a different Wolverine. This is not the same Wolverine that we're, I guess, e expecting to see that was in all of the previous X-Men movies. I mean, obviously you would imagine it would be, but I think what's gonna make some folks confused, I mean, at least I am for this moment in time, is the way the Fox properties have handled themselves especially when you look at the x-men animated series they've handled time completely different it's not like there is a multiverse everything is happening all in one timeline and you can essentially change your future by altering events that happened in the past however if you're asking me based off of my marvel knowledge i feel like that shit doesn't make any sort of sense and that time has been explained wrong, especially when you think of it like that, because all of that stuff already happened. 
So if you alter that, you're essentially just creating a branch. You're creating another timeline because when you go back to your time, all of those things already happened. So it's like it would be physically impossible to just have all these things just automatically just wipe away all those things because that would almost be like on some magic type shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I really like how the MCU has explained how timelines work and how the multiverse works and that's translated well and you can even look at examples like in dragon ball z where th this is not anything new this is something that's been happening this concept has been a thing for a very long time so what i'm thinking and what i have been thinking and what i have been saying is that i really do feel like this movie is going to essentially almost rewrite or i don't know i don't want to say retcon but it's going to rewrite how they have handled time so that they can explain how all of this fits into what's been being developed in the MCU side of things. And that's still very exciting and it's really cool. And this proves my point a little bit more because they're going to now tell us that this Wolverine is a different Wolverine that essentially let everybody down and that implies what everyone's dead or you know what i'm saying so never cared about not my fucking problem is that what you said when your world went to shit come again this wolverine when your world went to shit so maybe maybe okay wait wait, wait. this wolverine let down his entire world so there's a few ways now that I'm, I'm, I heard it again. Maybe this is the same Wolverine that we know. Because if you remember back in his movie in Logan, this takes place like several, several years later. I think that actually takes place in like 2028, 2029. All that time in between that movie and then I guess Days of Future Past, there was some sort of very super duper climactic event where most of mutant kind was kind of wiped and a lot of people didn't have powers anymore. A lot of the mutants were gone, dead. It was like kind of very up in the air. Charles Xavier was left, he was left, and the very small handful and then they, this was also when they were doing a lot of experimentations on children, essentially implanting powers that they were able to somehow get their hands on. And that's actually how X-23 was born because they used his genes. Even though this is an official trailer, they're still kind of dancing around certain things. And that, and I, and I like that. I, I like how they gave us a lot of exposure to hugh in the official yellow and blue but we don't see him we haven't seen him with the mask on yet that's something that they left out completely but they gave us just enough to still stay excited and be excited and i'm very 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 ha happy to like see this movie and i i'm telling you guys it's gonna be the best film of 2024 hands down oh shit so in this shot right here, you can see a Zazel, but I can't really recognize anyone else in this shot. This looks like an Ant-Man suit, but this is 100% Eliath. Yeah, look, this looks like Ant-Man. What the fuck? Do you see this shit? This looks like Ant-Man. Yeah, it's like Eliath is taking over Ant-Man. Or, oh, shit. Yo, that's a dead Ant-Man. You see that? There's a skull under there. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what's happening in this scene. Something that happened to Ant-Man, bro. He's dead. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Deadpool killing off <laughs> Marvel characters. <laughs> who is this? Bro, who is driving this car? There's an Iron Man thing at the at the at the front of this vehicle. What the hell? I can't make out who this is. I don't want to say it's Doctor Doom, bro. I'm not trying to hype myself up for that yet. I know he's eventually gonna be coming, but yo, I don't know if it's in gonna be in this movie. Okay, so this this character right here, right? So she was teased in the last trailer. Now, if you guys don't know who Cassandra Nova is, let me 
learn you something real quick so cassandra nova is a formidable enemy of the x-men specifically her brother professor charles xavier originating as mamudrai a shiar term for anti-self who exists within the astral plane cassandra embodied the dark counterpart to her twin brother charles her brother while in the womb recognized her evil presence and was forced to kill her causing a miscarriage what so if that was a lot to just take in let's just read that one more time so we all understand what the fuck is going on with this character her brother while in the womb recognized her evil presence and was forced to kill her <laughs> charles is savage as a baby Confirmed. Somehow surviving undetected for years as a growing mass of cells in a sewer wall, Cassandra meticulously crafted a new body for herself, fueled by a burning desire for revenge against her brother. Upon emerging, she swiftly seized control of a secret wild master mold in the South American jungles, leveraging its capabilities to unleash a genocidal massacre on Genosha using deadly sentinels so that's all i'm gonna read about her for now just so that you get an idea of who this character is and now i had a feeling i don't i didn't know much about cassandra that's why i didn't like freak out but i was made aware with all of the high bleeding into this like who the hell is cassandra nova and then i like figured it out like i was like bro she's charles twin sister that was unborn like what the fuck like i don't understand so she's somehow in this movie she is the big villain i don't know what the hell she's going to be doing but as you can see has some similar powers to charles just can control people and whatnot it's pretty nuts so this part right here where they are jumping through what looks like to be oh wait hold on look cassandra's in there she's in the corner she's right there all right, this is weird. Cassandra might end up being like a villain at first, but in this part, it looks like there's a there's gonna be a moment where she essentially sides with them. And this is more than likely going to be a moment where they're jumping through this portal that may end up putting them in the actual MCU, which is which is gonna be kind of nuts. I wonder if it's Wong that's doing this too, actually. I, I can see it being Wong. I don't see it being uh, Doctor Strange. Or maybe it's like the Sorcerer Supreme, who knows? I keep trying to say this, but and I'm getting distracted by my own thoughts. I am really happy that they didn't give us too much in this trailer, and that's a good thing. That actually tells me that there's gonna be a lot of surprises and a lot of things that are gonna be appearing, happening in this movie. And that's good thing the last time i feel like that happened was probably with spider-man no way home but then again they did kind of show us that there were a lot of villains that didn't already exist in tom holland's universe so it was very heavily implied but the implication here with with the lack of showing is that there will be a lot of appearances and characters we may not have seen in a very long time from previous x-men films from previous deadpool films and probably a lot of avengers films as well because this is like a movie that's supposed to tie start at least tying a lot of the properties together finally but let me know what you thought about this trailer and more guys don't forget that i have been reacting to the x-men 97 series and there's a playlist so that you guys can check out all of the clips and reactions to them let me know your thoughts on this trailer in the comments below and i hope you guys take care of yourselves and i will see you guys in the next one